Hello, this is Nitin Dahad with the Times. I'm uh, talking here to Kurt Bush, who's the CEO of Sentient at uh, Census Converge in Santa Clara, California. Kurt, hello. Hello, Nitin. Thank, thank you for you. talking to me today. Uh, thank you. And we last spoke in December uh, when you just acquired, well, I think it's a little while after you'd acquired uh, the micro microphone division of Knowles. Yes. Um, so it might be a good idea just to get an update on where you are. Yeah, no, that, that was really a, a tremendous, tremendous acquisition. So there aren't a lot of cases where a venture back company can buy a, a spin out from a large public company. And I've really got to hand it to the Knowles team is that in the first six months, I mean, we went from being a 70-person company to almost a 1,600-person company. We went from doing under 10 million of revenue to this year we'll probably do around 300 million of revenue. And, and with that, the Knowles team has been amazing in helping with the integration. And um, if I just go from kind of soup to nuts of everything from IT to HR to customers, it has is, is really been, you know, almost a, a dream for the last six months, it's been a lot of work, but but it's really been really been great integrating the two companies together. And the dream will be when you when you get uh, good revenue from it. But at the moment, yeah, you, I think what you've said to me is you've you've got some good sort of leads and uh, quite a good number yeah. of them. Yeah, exactly. So so our thesis in the in the acquisition of the the Knowles Consumer Mims microphone business was that every one of the microphone customers can potentially be an AI customer, um, and it might as well be our AI. Mm. And so we, we leveraged the, the, the Knoll sales team that's, that came over completely for the, the um, or at least the consumer sales team came over, and it increased the size of our sales organization by about 15x, if you include reps and disties and whatnot. Mm. And in the first 100 days, we found over 100 opportunities to use our, our AI hardware or our software. Um, if the actual answer was, look, we found 20 good opportunities, I would have said, hey, you know, hot dog, this was, this was, a, this was a great great acquisition. But the fact that we found more than one a day for the first 100 days, you know, I, I just say this is going to be a grand slam. So they've been busy, the salespeople. They have been very busy. And in fact, seven days after we, we closed the deal, we did our first worldwide sales meeting. And I invited all the salespeople into the Irvine headquarters. Um, we had a full 12-hour session on Saturday. And, and again on Sunday, and then we got in a bus and drove from Irvine to, to CES, and then did a whole week of CES. So, you know, for your listeners that have been at CES, they realize this is a, this is a slog, right? This is a big day or a big week. And, you know, I'm, I'm happy to report that at the end of the week on, on Friday, if you just looked at the teams, you'd have a hard time recognizing who was formerly a Knowles salesperson and who was a sentient salesperson. The team was gelling that well just after seven days together. And I mean, that's quite quickly after the acquisition. Then. Yeah, quite yeah exactly. Okay. Said, welcome to sentient. Here's 12 hours on a Saturday. Okay, very good. So, um, I mean, that's, you have been looking, I guess, at other opportunities for acquisitions or well, this is part of your process, I guess. Yeah, no, absolutely. So the, the you know, our first acquisition that, that we did a few years ago was, was Pilot.ai that was a software modeling company that, that we've been able to double their revenue since, since the acquisition. And that's, that's actually worked out great. And then we acquired the, the consumer MIMS microphone business from Knowles and we're looking for other things. And, you know, our view is to make Edge AI a reality. So we want to put all of the pieces together. I mean, today we have the sensor, we have the processor, we have the software, but there's a lot of other little bits and pieces in the bill of materials, and we want to enable our customers. So we're looking for more companies that we can tuck in. Now, you're, you're here at Census Converge, you just did a panel. Um, I think everybody was like positive about Edge AI. Yeah. Uh, what are the things, what are your key takeaways? Yeah, so so I think the, the panel was was a lot, of a, a lot of agreement. I mean, some panels are more interesting when there's a lot of argument. This one was not, though. though I, I, yeah, you need. If you were there, it would have been a lot more interesting. But uh, the, the, the general view, I think, across the panelists is that Edge AI is going to be transparent. It's going to be making people's lives better. And in one of the, the questions on the panel that I, that I thought was the most interesting was was it really around you know what is the most interesting Edge AI application that you've seen and. You know, the, the most interesting one for, for us is that we have a customer that has just released an AI hearing aid. And, mm -hmm. and if we're in, a, we're in a trade show today and, and probably your, 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 your viewers can't hear all the background noise because you have an awesome microphone here. Yeah. But generally in this kind of environment, you, you have very poor work with a hearing aid. They have a thing called the cocktail party problem, which basically yeah. creates ringing and things like that. And there's a, a secondary effects of that is people with hearing aids start avoiding group sessions. Mm. And if you avoid group sessions, you, you get separated from family members, you stop coming to Christmas and other holidays. 
and then dementia starts settling in. Yes. So to keep dementia from settling in, we need to interact with our loved ones. And this is one of, I think, the, the greatest applications for Edge AI, as we see this hearing aid, that effectively eliminates the cocktail party problem. So it's a way that someone you know, that, that has hearing, hearing impairment can start interacting with people in group settings and hopefully start delaying dementia. And they don't even need to know there's AI there. They just need to know, oh, the hearing aid yeah. works better. Yeah. And that's that's the future of Edge AI. Yeah, and I guess you're working with people like Oticon for that. Yeah, we're not talking about specific customers, but there is only five. <laughs> Good. Um, so and three of them can walk to each other. Yeah, I've right? seen a few here, actually, the hearing, uh, well, a couple of the hearing aids, yeah. so it's quite interesting. Um, we're all going to need it someday. All right, plans uh, you've already laid out. Going to IPO probably in the next couple of years. Yeah. Are you on track? What What are the things, the challenges that you think? Yeah, uh, along the way. Uh, yes. So uh, it, it, we're right now. You know, we're, we're I'd say a small to medium sized chip company at around 300 million for this year. Um, we just brought on a, a new CFO that's a very experienced public company CFO, and we're laying out the pathway for a, for a potential IPO. And, and in between now and then, you know, we still have a lot of integration to do. There's, you know, it's it's gone well so far, but we're also laying out, you know, what is the next acquisition? So there might be a couple more before before that particular IPO. And then with the great synergies, you know, in the company, and this is the chip business, right? Nothing happens overnight. Yeah. But you know, with the north of you know north of one new opportunity a day, we feel that we're extremely well positioned for an IPO in a couple of years, and that's when those new products will be ramping. That's what they call a bullish CEO. Well, very <laughs> bullish. Kurt, very bullish. Thank you very much. Yeah, thank you, Nitin. It's always a pleasure. Thank you. Thank you.